So in this tutorial, I just want to talk quickly about the cellophane object. Um, so this is basically everything that's going to contain the bathymetry data as well as the bed roughness data in this tutorial. Uh, that and it's a, it's a it's an object that gets exported as a file and then the file gets imported into Telemac 2D uh, and basically has all the information that's related to the mesh as well as the values of the bed elevation and the roughness that's associated with each node within the mesh. So to create it, we just go to File, go to New, go to Cellophane Object, and you'll see that it appears here. Uh, what you want to do first is just right-click it, go to Add Variable, and then under the Source Mesh and Attribute Data, just scroll down here in this Mesh scroll box, and just pick Mesh underscore Original. Uh, every time that you make any significant changes, well, anytime you make any changes to the Mesh um, roughness or the bathymetry, you're going to have to create a new Cellophane Object. Uh, so for the case of this tutorial, we're just going to use mesh underscore original here. Uh, and then here you're underneath the new variable properties, you're presented with all of these different variables that are available to change within Blue Canoe. And each of these correspond to an actual variable that is used in Telemac 2D. So there in Telemac 2D, their name for the bottom elevation is bottom. So we'll just click that here and then just go OK. Uh, you can see that if we just drag and drop this into the 2D view, it's all red everywhere and each of these values is equal to a value of zero. So the bathymetry data hasn't actually been imposed on this object yet. But to do that, we just go and use the tools, go to map object, uh, and then just go and get the new interpolator 2D, click on OK, you can see that it's going to take a couple seconds and then all of a sudden we have uh, the bathymetry data that's been uh, interpolated to this bottom object. The next step is to just go into add another variable uh, and again use mesh underscore original and then under the new variable properties choose bottom friction. And then instead of just clicking on OK here right away, we're just going to have a look here. So you have the choice of copying node values from source. That's not our case. We have the default node value. So because most of the domain is actually a floodplain and we want a rather high Manning's coefficient, we're just going to put 0 0.06 in here uh, to begin with. Uh, so that means that the default value for bottom friction across the whole domain is going to be equal to 0 0.06. And if we just drag and drop that into the 2D view and then click on it, we can see anywhere in the domain, we're going to see that it has a default value of 0 0.06. So before we export this, we will just want to rename it. We'll rename it to um, geometry uh, and then just click apply. OK. And then we can export it just by saving it under geometry.slf, which stands for cellophane save and then there we go in the next tutorial I'll be showing how to change the bottom friction just locally so uh, say we want 0 0.06 in the floodplains but within the actual channel of the river uh, the Baxter River or maybe along the Thule Creek here we want to impose a different boundary friction or a bottom friction so that's the topic of the next tutorial see you in that one